Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to see what the month of June has in store for you guys, okay? Um, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. Also, if you want a personal reading with me, my website information will be linked below. Literally everything you guys need to find me on my other YouTube channels, all that jazz, will be listed below. Uh, make sure you guys join me for my lives. I do live personal readings now. Um, every day around five or six o'clock, we will be doing lives where I will answer your questions. And all you gotta come through and do is give a donation and you will get your question answered. Yes, so definitely let's go ahead and jump into your reading. What are you currently not aware of going into June? So, okay, we have the High Priestess and we also have the Ten of Spears. So the crazy part is right off the bat, the High Priestess is all about the all-knowing, being in awareness. So what you're not aware of is the fact that you guys are very much aware. <laughs> crazy, right? Um, a lot of you are very much aware in terms of what you need to do to overcome certain obstacles or challenges, especially with the Ten of Spears. If you're struggling with carrying certain burdens or feeling weighed down by certain situations, you have all the understanding there is to have. It's just a matter of you guys needing to just say, F it, I'm done carrying things that don't serve me in terms of my you know, future moves and, and the things that I want to accomplish moving forward or experience. All right, what you guys are not aware of is the fact that you guys know what's hindering you and the fact that you guys aren't making certain changes to remove those things out of your life could be the very lesson that spirit is trying to get you guys to um, tap into or realize because it's been literally keeping you guys from your personal path or journey that you're supposed to be on. Now, another thing I'm picking up on, what you're not aware of, you could have a Pisces individual or regardless of the Zodiac sign, somebody around you who's very much aware of what they're doing. You could be thinking that you're, you're dealing with someone who, you know, they're just a handful just because they're a handful, but they could be very aware of the actions that they're taking, how it's affecting you, and they could be a handful and that's just what it is. You could be giving this person the benefit of the doubt and excusing a lot of things when this person themselves don't make excuses for, you know, the way that they treat you or the way that they may handle you. Let's keep going. Cancers. You could also have a secret admirer, I'm hearing. Somebody who still keeps tabs on you, who may have made it known that they have an interest in you in the past, but not making it known that they still have an interest in you in the now. So you could have a secret admirer, somebody who, you know, keeps tabs on your Instagram, keeps tabs on what's going on with you and your current relationship, because they could want to reach out to you one day, but they know that you may have uh, interest in other people as of right now. Now with the three of spears and the seven of swords, hmm. So what you guys are not aware of, you guys have some really awesome opportunities coming your way in the near future that's going to require you guys to be aware of the actions you want to take. And this is kind of going back to what I was saying before. There's so much stuff that spirit is about to bring into your life in terms of opportunity to excel career wise or with a business or new love, just new energy as a whole and some of you guys need to just take the action of of turning turning your left cheek <laughs> to things that don't serve you anymore. And I think that this is what the theme is for the month of of June is to know what you know why you're turning your back on certain energies. Know why you're turning your back on giving energy to things that bring you to a lower lower state. Hmm. Some of you guys also could be caught up in the state of looking at the future or worry, being worried about the future so much so that you're kind of like avoiding the now 
Uh, and this could be a big problem. Make sure that you're not so caught up in what next week is going to look like that you forget that today is an opportunity to reshape next week. You know, never, never forget that, that we exist in all those energies at once, the past, present and future. And if you allow the past to dictate your future and your now, then you'll never get anywhere and you'll just stay in the same time loop. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. We have the Empress, Ten of Cups, as well as the Ace of Spears. Hmm. Somebody here is avoiding their parental duties as the mother or father of your child because they're upset that you guys have not rekindled your relationship yet. So that's really what's going on. The reason why this person's giving you a hard time, it's like pulling teeth with this individual to get them to co-parent with you is because they're very upset that you guys are not just together as a family. And this, they could be the cause for why you guys broke up in the first place. They could have cheated on you, lied to you, whatever this is, but it just seems like they're internalizing it as you don't want the family to be together when of course that's not the situation. It's just, they're upset and they could be taking it out on you. Especially if this is a Taurus, Libra, maybe even a little bit of a Capricorn energy I'm seeing. Hmm. Beyond that, though, I think that this month is going to, like I said, open a lot of doors in terms of your personal happiness and you guys putting that on the forefront. Um, what you're not aware of, you guys are going to have like this boost of energy in the month of June that's going to get you to want to take action on certain things that you guys have been pro procrastinating on. And it could be simple things like you going through a slight depression, so your you know house could be dirty. And in the month of June, you get the energy to, to clean it up. Or you could be interested in doing certain things creatively or connected to your passions. And you have that boost of energy to do so in the month of June. So it's going to be an awesome month for you guys to more so be in alignment with personal growth, personal happiness, and taking action on the things that, that bring that to you. Now, another thing that I'm seeing, some of you guys have somebody around you who has very sexual uh, connotations for why they may interact with you or deal with you. Uh, this could be a Capricorn, um, fire sign. It doesn't really matter the zodiac sign, but somebody here has more sexual, lustful reasons for why they could be trying to pursue you. And... You will know, you will know as long as you guys are able to use discernment, of course, and you don't ignore that discernment, but you will know because their actions are going to show you that it's mainly sex for them. Hmm. Somebody could be trying to do like sex magic on you to try to bring you back in. This could be another uh, water sign. They could be doing things to like try to draw you back in. Whew. Anyways, I, I think I'm actually going to leave this reading here. <laughs> That was kind of deep. Um, I hope that you're able to take something from this video. Uh, if you did find it helpful, definitely feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see my cancers in the next one. Bye.